Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial from Premiere Boss. Today I'm going to show you to add images to your buttons to sort of make your make your sales screen a little bit more interesting. So if I lock myself in and go to the sales layout, let's uh, increase this and make a couple of buttons. So what I mean by so obviously these have got images on and stuff like that. So there are a few different types of images you can put on. There's a foreground image and there's a background image, and I'll show you both of them now. So let's create a couple of buttons. So cut that button there. Uh, oh no. Change the color of that. Yeah, let's go for that one there. There we go. So there we have. So we've got two buttons there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a foreground image on this one, and I'm going to put a background image on this one. So what I need to do, I need to right click on it, and then it'll say set foreground image. So you can set it from file, or if you've got them stored in your database, you can pull it from there if you need to. Uh, but your best way of doing it is just do it from a file. So what we'll do, we'll do it from file. And I've got one here already pre-selected. -pre now, what I've done with this one, uh, this particular one is a PNG image. So a PNG image basically means it removes all the tra uh, all the transparency. So you obviously you can see through it effectively. So you don't get a white square. Uh, they are pretty much the best ones to have for foreground images. Uh, and obviously keep the apps the uh, the size of it relatively small as well. So generally, 64 by 64 pixels is the best way of doing it. So what I'll do, I'll uh, I'll open that now. And there you go. There's my little image on there. Obviously, I can increase it and make it slightly bigger if I want to. So I can actually change it here. Because a foreground image, I can change the width, I can change the height, or the actual margins of it as well. Or I can get rid of it altogether. Or I can even automatically set the alignment. So I might want to have that center middle, and it throws it right in the middle there, like so. So as you can see by a PNG, it just puts that image on there effectively. So you can have a little play around with that. Just make sure the images aren't too big. They've got to be kind of relative to the size of the actual button. If you make them too big, it might have a tendency to slow down the sales screen. So keep them relatively small because uh, they're only going to be small anyway. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll click on this one now and I'll share what a background one does differently. So if we click on there, go to set background. So set image from file. And again, I'm just going to use this one here. So this is a standard JPEG. Open that up, and there you have it. Obviously, depending on obviously the aspect ratio, so we can change that. So as you can see, the entire button now is an image instead of having an image on top of the button, if you know what I mean. So that's one another way of doing it. Obviously, just be careful. Make sure your images aren't too big as well over here, again, because it might slow it down as well. Uh, so I would say anything between 180 by 180 uh, pixels, obviously depending on the aspect ratio, etc. But uh, that's a nice quick way of doing it. And obviously, you get the same sort of um, tools on here. So obviously, you can actually pull it from a resource. Another cool thing as well, you can actually make it from an image of uh, image of a product that's already stored on your system, and there'll be a separate video about that. So I can show you how to do that as well, how to put images onto your actual products. Uh, very useful as well for web uploading as well. So there you go, and there you have it. Two little nice images on your buttons there for you. Do hope that's been useful. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.